Okay, it's chapter 24 summary. This is what we did. We did the terms. Terms are stuff like four-addition compound, the complex ion, ligands, uh, counter ions, coordination number, all that sort of stuff that we first covered when we started the chapter. The other thing we did is nomenclature. So expect on the exam some nomenclature questions and be able to name whatever. You've got to get the spelling right, you've got to get each part right. Usually what happens is that for each mistake you make, you lose some credit. Um, and then we went over what's called stereochemistry. There's two parts of the stereochemistry, the geometric isomers and the optical isomers. The geometric isomers were the things that were cis, trans, back, and burn. Cis and trans have to do with two ligands. That's the key point for cis and trans. Where back and mer have to do with three ligands. The other part about that little table that you'll notice, cis is to fac as trans is to mer. So cis and fac kind of go together, but cis applies for two ligands, where fac applies for three. Whereas uh, trans and mer, they go together, where trans applies to two and mer applies to three ligands. The optical isomers, what that had to do was to tell if something is chiral. So if it has a mirror image that is not superimposable. Uh, then we got to the big hefty part of the chapter, the CFT. This is the third big part of the chapter. That's crystal field theory. And it had several parts. One is to be able to draw the shape of the crystal field theory the, for, for the various Vesper shapes. So there's four you need to know, octahedral, tetrahedral, square planar, and linear. Know all those shapes. How to draw them, be able to label the diagram for each of the d orbitals, know what all the d orbitals look like. Then we did spin and field, those are just terms. So there's high spin and low spin that go with weak field and strong field. Uh, next we did the spectrochemical series. I'm going to give that to you, but you need to know how to use it. Uh, and then magnetism, there's two types, paramagnetic and diamagnetic. Paramagnetic means there's unpaired electrons. Diamagnetic means electrons are paired. So you'll be able to tell the difference after you draw the diagram. And then uh, also, if asked, be able to use the color wheel and determine the color. And when you're asked this sort of question, what's going to happen, it'll always be a comparison question. So it'll be, you'll have two complexes. You know the color of one, determine the color of the other. And that uses that equation from the previous class, which is energy is hc over lambda. Or in other words, delta, the energy, is inversely proportional to the wavelength. So when delta goes up, the wavelength goes down, and vice versa. So that's our summary. This is the stuff you've got to know for this chapter. Yeah. Is this the last part, like, for midterm? This is, like, the last part for to know? Or is there another chapter? For uh, your exam, uh, well, in our case, uh, it also includes chapter 23, which is about the transition elements. Okay. But it stops at 24, so it's like from 20. Uh, we'll have to see how far we get. Right. Yeah, yeah, but those two chapters go together. Was 24 